In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a drill down using a parameter action instead of a set action. Now, the reason you might want to do this is because personally, I feel parameter actions are much easier to use than set actions. So let's look at how that would work. The first thing I'm going to do is you don't necessarily need to do this, but I'm going to demo this for you. A typical drill down would be category and then drilling down into subcategory. What we want to be able to do is we click on a category and it shows the subcategories that belong to it and then just the category for the other two. So in other words, if I click on furniture, it'll show me the four subcategories for furniture and then two more rows, one for office supplies and one for technology. Okay, so let me just undo that hierarchy. So the first thing you need to do is I need to create an empty parameter. And I'm going to call this my empty parameter. I'm going to make it a string parameter and I'm going to make it empty. So the current value is nothing. So now I'm going to bring category into the view and sales. Now I need to do something with that parameter. So I'm going to create a calculated field and I'm going to call it uh, cat or subcat. And I'm going to say if my empty parameter is equal to my category, then I want to return the subcategory, else give me the category. And hit OK. And let's put that next to our rows. And uh, let's go ahead and set up the sort to make sure it's nested sorting. So nested sort, descending order by sales. OK, good. Um, and this one needs to be nested as well. So sort nested descending by sales. OK, there we go. All right. So now I need to set up my parameter action. So I'm going to go up to worksheet actions. And I'm going to add a new action. That is a change parameter action. So update empty parameter. I'm going to do it on select. The parameter I want to update is the empty parameter. And I want to update it with the new calculation I just made. Hit OK and hit OK again. Now I find this much easier to work with than a set action. So now if I click on technology, it shows me the subcategories for technology and then the categories for furniture and office supplies. If I click on furniture, it does the same. If I then click on one of the subcategories in furniture, it goes back to the category level. So to clean this up, I can go ahead and uncheck the include header. And I'm going to go ahead and hide my field labels and do a bit of formatting. So when I click on technology, see I've got all these extra lines in here. So I'm going to format my view, go to my borders, and I'm going to reduce my row level. And I'm just going to clean the whole thing up. So no column dividers. Uh, I guess we'll leave the row dividers on the top and bottom. Those don't look too bad. And I'm going to go ahead and put the turn on the labels and maybe make them, you know, something fancy. Let's say some like Tableau medium and maybe 10 point and okay so that's good i'm going to match the mark color as well and i'm just going to change my default number format so let's make it uh, number custom and dollars okay now i can go ahead and hide the header because i have my labels on there let's set it to entire view and maybe let's make the bars a bit more interesting let's do something like a green uh, and now if i click on phones, it's going to go back to the default view. So this is our default technology furniture office supplies. Click on technology and it drills in. So again, click on phones. I can now click on furniture and then click on chairs. All right. So let me go ahead. I think I actually probably need to put my row dividers back in there. So let me go here. And because you see they're in there now and that looks good. And I click on technology, it shows them all. So maybe I'll reduce it one click. There we go. So now when I click on furniture, it shows me furniture. I click on chairs and it goes back. So I have some nice looking row dividers now. The last thing I probably would do is get rid of my grid lines and get rid of my zero lines. And now we have a nice clean view. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, update, oops. So let's, uh, let's see, so let's format our categories. Oh, no, let's format our subcategory. So counter subcategory, um, let's make the, let's make these tableau medium as well and 10 point and the same green. 
there we go. So now we have nice, uh, everything kind of matches nice and neat. So um, I hope you found that helpful. That tip comes to me from um, Hashem Issa, who just won Iron Biz. Hashem was one of my students here at the Data School and loves passing me tips. So thank you, Hashem, for, uh, for this great example of using parameter actions instead of set actions for a drill down. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.